How you doing, people? Hope you guys had a great weekend. Today is still Sunday for me, and today is my birthday. So if you guys can, please like, subscribe, and leave in the comments down below. If you guys see birthdays any different than another day, I don't. I just know it's another day I lived, and I lived to, to another year. And I'm not young anymore, people. None of you, none of us are getting younger. Time don't go backwards. Time goes forward. But we also got to revolve going forward. Remember that. And because just because it's our birthday or whatever the case may be, we just always got to evolve, people. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do some more of the, the resistance, or not the resistance band, the Pilates ring. And then we do have the weighted bar. We're going to be working on the up on the shoulders and stuff. And I'm making a short video today. And today it's probably like about 11 o'clock right now. And the, we're just going to get another little um, heat wave coming through again. But, and I don't believe in the New Year's thing or whatever. I believe whenever you want to start your, your um, diet or you, whenever you want to start your thing, you know, people usually start on the New Year's. I'm doing it for my birthday because I think it's just the right thing to do for myself because I'm realizing I'm a lot older. Grades are coming in. Grades are coming in. But that's beside the point. And I have been converting over little by little bit so I could get used to my when I convert my diet because I am going to start doing a lot better. You're going to see me start dropping the weight, people. Because I've done it before. I dropped weight and I've done things and I ate the right way. But because I had my stroke and I was in a wheelchair for like that year, I gained a lot of weight. And before that, too, I wasn't watching where I ate. I ate a bunch of junk food. And that's probably what caused me to have high, high blood pressure and high cholesterol and everything else. There's a lot of things, doing illegal drugs, doing stupid things in life, being stressed out. Like I said, I lost my dog, my other dog before that, a week before I had my stroke. And then I lost a roommate, my roommate's stepson. I lost him too, like while I was in the hospital. So that was pretty stressed out when I was in the hospital. But, and I was going through my recovery as well. And I couldn't, I had no strength at all, people. I couldn't talk, I couldn't do nothing. So I believe in things could change because they are changing. Are they changing really quick? No, because I haven't been putting in as much work as I should be. And I'm going to put a lot of work into it. I have been putting a lot of work into it. I'm sorry about Friday's video that I did. I know you guys see me do my squats. I was so sore. I'm still a little bit sore on my legs. I mean, I tore them up when I worked out on Wednesday. And that was Wednesday. Today's Sunday right now. Anyways, if you guys can, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it very much. And if you guys feel different every time you get older or you, or you see things as a different thing. Just remember people, you always got to stay positive and please leave in a comment down below or just say hi or happy birthday. I appreciate that. Knowing that you guys are actually watching. If you guys are just watching, I noticed I got a lot more watches than I got subscribers. If you guys can convert over to subscribers, that'll help, that'll help boost my, my channel more. And I need to start doing other things as well. And pretty soon I'm going to be making a different channel because I've been learning how to edit. And I want to do a little bit different on my, my stuff. So anyways, let's go here. Actually, let's do this first. Put hands together, prayer position. Jesus, please look after me and my family. Look after my dog, Phoebe. Look after my friend, Veronica, out there in Arizona. And look after everybody else that's going through recovery. Show us the path we need to take to, to get better. Guide us. Give us the guidance and the tools we need to make it through every day because it's a struggle, people. Jesus, you know it's a struggle. And this is, a, I think, a test that you've given us, but we could pass it if we just put our minds to it. We could, if we set ourselves up for success, we could do this. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, people, I'm not trying to be religious on you guys. You guys do whatever you guys do. I do what I do. But um, I'm not even warmed up yet, people. So my day started off already, got up, showered, got all ready. Didn't know I was going to go to the store. I had to fill my water bottle because I got a five-gallon water jug. And what I do is I have like a little water dispenser pushes on it. It's like a little electronic thing. It just fits on a five-gallon water bottle. I fill up my water bottles. And I've also been doing lemon water in the morning. I've been doing that for the last week. Actually, been doing it for two weeks, but for the last week, solid. And I got all my chicken out so I could start prepping my meals. I got my, my rice. I'm going to start making the rice here in a little bit. I'm going to start doing my, my pre-made meals. i got to start dropping this weight, people. And after this Tuesday, will be my last day of physical therapy. 
After that, they're going to reevaluate me. I'm sure you guys know how it works. Every 12 sessions, and they reevaluate me. I'm, Tuesday's my last day. And then, so I'm going to be starting going to the gym a little bit more because I got to keep the progress going no matter what. I can't slow down. I, so my problem was I got comfortable. I tell you guys, don't get comfortable. I got comfortable with just doing stuff. So now that I'm going to the gym, I'm getting motivated again. I like that. I have like to stay busy because if you're busy, you're not worried about eating. I've been eating a lot, people. I haven't been really been on a diet. I kind of watch what I eat, I'm not trying to eat like deep fried foods or anything like that. But now it's all about going to be chicken and rice and start doing the right thing, get a lot of proteins, not so much carbs, cut down on the carbs, not so much rice either because rice has a lot of carbs. But I'll be eating the right rice. I'm going to be eating brown rice, but that doesn't count for whatever. And I'm going to start cutting down on my breads because breads have a lot of carbs and tortillas. And if you notice in my thumbnail, which I think I'm going to use that as my thumbnail, the picture I took, yeah, that's going to be my last big burrito for a little bit. And I went to the Mexican place where they have the, the real good burritos, like they're super huge. They're not no talk about little rinky dink ones. They're probably like four by, but they're real meat in it too. It's not like the ground beef, greasy stuff. This is like real good meat, homemade beans, homemade rice, like Spanish rice, good stuff. Anyways. I want you guys to start staying positive, start thinking about what you guys can do for yourselves, and knowing that you guys, you could do this. So I'm going to do some toe testing. I still got to stretch out. My, my legs are so sore, people. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. And what we're going to do is, we're, and I've been using my um, my muscle stimulator a lot too as well, people. And then my friend Veronica, she got me a muscle a massager, and, I, and I'm, you know, a muscle massager, you know, like a, a massage gun. There you go. She got me one for, for my birthday. It has so many different attachments, and I, I'm going to start using it more. I'm just trying to understand what, what, what attachments work better. So you want to lock in your wrist on this. So what we're doing is doing, trying to get that wrist to go up. You want the palms to go up as high as you can. Get that wrist rotation because you got probably a lot of plasticity in it. I know I don't use always the right words when I use stuff. I say plasticity, it's, it's plasticity. And I know that people. Every time I get on here, if I don't have a script or anything, which I don't usually, when I'm inside, I usually do because I'm thinking about other things because i got PV there and running around. But I'm always thinking about what I should say. And then when I get when I stop recording, I always think, like, oh, man, I should have said this. I should have said that. Or I should have did this. I should have did that. It doesn't matter, people. You guys got to find your own motivation. You guys got to do it for yourselves. I'm here to just encourage you to do more because you can do more. It's just about applying yourself. You want to be able to start getting that the palm up, you're affected, say. Hold it there. Keep that grip as much as you can. Rotate it. Right now, that's my palm up, the one that's on the lower part. That's my effect to say. And it aches a lot, people. Last night, I, I used my muscle stimulator. I put the pads in different areas to get... Get the hand to get closing. My hand's opening and closing pretty good, people. It takes a lot of work. It's taken more work than I expected. Yes, I should have did more. And yes, I should have did a lot more, but I didn't. And I'm here right now doing what I can do. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do some front raises with this. Remember, this is a weighted bar. You want to go shoulder width apart? One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you want to go higher each time. And you also want to keep that elbow walk straight. And right now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it back over. We're going to go with palms up like you're doing a curl. And try to get that fingers, get all your fingers going in the right direction. And get all the fingers in the right direction. Remember, palms up. Basically, we're doing a curl, okay? Let it drag all the way down. Elbows are locked out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 15. This is just to loosen up the bicep, but this is mostly to get your wrist to turn up so your, your palms up, okay? It's starting to get warm, people. It's supposed to be like 96 today, and it's about 10 o'clock. Oh, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm sorry. So I'm going to speed through this as best I can. And right now, we're going to put our hands closer together, closer than shoulder width apart. But we'll make sure we go shoulder width apart. I'm going to do upright rows, okay? This is just to loosen up that shoulder to help that, help that out as well. Loosen it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do these. We're going to go shoulder width apart, forward with palms down this time. Now we're going to go out as high as we can, like bring it towards us. Go out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let me know if you guys if you guys' shoulder clicks a lot from on your um, affected side. Mine mine clicks all the time, but I also dislocated a couple of times, so I'm not sure if that, that has to do with it or not. But because it did click a little bit, but it clicks all the time now. So I'm gonna leave it at that, people. I just want you guys to start. If you guys don't got one of these weighted bars, you could use your cane. You could use a broom. Just disconnect the brush off of it. You could unscrew it. Most brooms can unscrew. And then just start doing it with the broom. And all you want to do is start getting that wrist to start turning in a different direction. You get a water bottle and start just turning it like this. You just do these. It has too much water, drop the weight. I mean, drop some water out, reduce the weight. You got to learn how to have control. You want to do multiple things when you're doing stuff. And, um, I am going to start dropping weight. You guys will start watching because weight will start coming off me pretty quick. In the first couple of weeks, it will come out quick. But it's just about after that, maintaining my diet and, and doing it. I've done it before, people. I used to be into lifting. I used to be into that kind of stuff. But it's a whole different thing now. I'm not lifting to get big. I'm not lifting to do anything like that. When I'm, when I'm doing my diet, I'm not doing it for any reason. I'm doing it just to lose the weight, get lighter on my feet so I could do other things get my stomach out of the way so I can touch my toes better. And just losing the weight's gonna help out people. It'll keep your cholesterol down, keeps your insulin down as well. Not that I have um, diabetes or anything, but I like to make sure I keep it in that, that direction. It's just good to have good, have good um, gut health. So I'll see you guys Friday. You guys, thank you for everything. I appreciate the new subscriber, old subscribers. You guys just, let me know if you guys got aches and pains that you guys go through and, and how are you guys dealing with what exercise are you using or what kind of stretching you're using because everybody is different. Sometimes other techniques work better than others because like when I have different physical therapists work, I mean, some won't work different areas. I mean, like my arm and one does my leg and and just even the way they talk to me is a better influence than the other person, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just talking to the right people, you know, pump you up, you know what I mean? Even seeing people that you you know, like, a guy that's out from Germany and stuff, he, he had a stroke and he's doing good. He, he's doing great. 
he's doing good, good job, buddy. But um, everybody's stroke is different. Everybody's recovery is going to be different. Everybody's strength level is going to be different. Everybody's motivation is different. Remember that, people. So don't compare yourself to others. Everybody's gain is different. But no matter who you are, you got to put the work in. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You got to put it in. That's all there is to it. And that's all that really matters. Do it to your level, and but be positive and think positive all the time and you'll get through this a little bit easier. It'll make your day better and you won't be such a grouch, okay? Because I noticed I'm, my first time I struck being in the wheelchair, I was on a pity party and I was just pissed off at everybody because I was in my wheelchair. I thought that's the way my life was going to end. My life went from active to non-active to relying on people. And little by little, I'm getting less reliant on people. I still need a ride here and there because I can't drive yet. I don't think they'll let me drive. I know I could drive an automatic. I don't think I could drive a stick yet. But that's beside the point. We'll get there when we get there. Have a great day. I'll see you guys Friday, okay? Thank you.